what's going on guys it's young wealth now if you look at the price of xlm right now it's 9.6 cents brother ugh, what's going on with the price point today xlm now you guys must understand this is why it's kind of painful holding xlm i'll tell you guys right right now why that is right because when bitcoin decides to pump xlm doesn't follow xlm stayed at 10 cents then when bitcoin decides to dump xlm dumps even more now i feel like in my humble opinion it's all by design and when i'm looking at it at a price point of 9.6 cents i'm thinking to myself oh my lord if i put in five thousand here do you know how much that's going to be worth in the future in the long term do you know how much multiply that can do for me when things start to be adopted because i'm gonna be real like it's not gonna be the narrative in 2025 i'm sorry xlm is not gonna be the narrative in 2025 it could do some x's don't get it twisted but the narrative is going to come by once the crypto markets mature and become more adopted in the global infrastructure. So at the end of the day, when it comes to XLM right now, what's going on with the chart? It clearly did not respect the 10 cent resistance range, the 10 cent support range, I mean, and it did not respect any of the 10 cent support. It kept bouncing off it and eventually it had two choices you're either going to bounce to the upside or the downside and sadly it bounced below 10 cents now i would be real the next target from here can be actually anywhere from i don't want to say it, but nine to eight cents okay you can go to eight cents from here and the reason i say that is because it is broke it's broke support it's broke structure so like when we're looking at this this chart over here we are not really it, it's not looking too good it is now the reason I say it is because if we look at YouTube real quick, everyone was saying uh, September is going to be the worst month. If people were saying September was going to be the worst month and it turned out to be the best, then what happened? Everyone says we are in a bull in September. The same YouTuber that says September is going to be the worst month turned around and halfway through September said we are now in a bull run. It's because everyone's just chasing the illusion. No one really knows what's going on. So when it comes to XLM, like I don't believe when people say it's gonna do a 10x in a month from now. Like I'm I'm just honest with you guys. I, I really believe that XLM is gonna have its time in the next in the next few years. It's not gonna have its time next year. It's not gonna have its main time next year. Yeah, it could do some X's, it could do a 5X or something like that, but I don't think it's gonna have a huge, huge shock wave in 2025. I feel like the huge shock wave will come in 2029, 2030. That's just my humble opinion. That's just my humble opinion, and I, I believe like when that happens, you gotta understand that XLM is gonna be P to P, okay? It's gonna be um, per, person to person, um, cross border payments, which is gonna very, it's gonna make the this cross border payment issue very efficient. At the end of the day, I know that XLM will actually solve this cross border payment issue where it, it's too slow, it's too expensive, it takes too long. The fees are too high. It's gonna, it's gonna improve all of that. So at the end of the day, I don't need to really panic and hold XLM, thinking that damn, it, it's at nine cents. No, I'm gonna buy more. I'm gonna buy more. I'm just gonna buy more. At the end of the day, like I, I know when it comes to XLM, you have to ignore the distraction. You have to ignore the distraction and tell yourself, you know what? If you're holding this to get the best rewards, the best rewards are going to come more long term. The best rewards are going to come more long term anyway. This is a slow, steady grind to the top. It's like an Amazon stock. It's not going to happen overnight. But if you keep accumulating for a decent period of time, I'm going to tell you right now, XLM going to be one of the greatest coins to do it especially because of its utility so that that's what's going on with xlm it did not respect the 10 cent support it did not respect the 10 cent support so now it, it, it can stay below 10 cents for a while can even go to eight cents so be ready for that and i'll be ready to buy more xlm at eight cents for sure because i feel like that's a great that's a great entry so if you guys enjoyed the video smash the like button and hit the subscribe button i'll be buying more content real soon with that being said i'm out peace